Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look at Crossnick or Crossnick Plus or whatever this game is called. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Uh, it was released very recently. I don't know much about it besides the fact that it is indeed a puzzle game and that it seems to have some really good writing. Uh, specifically, I saw this one post uh, from a dear friend of mine and... I mean, seeing, you know, a cute lizard saying her pronouns as part of the game's dialogue is just amazing. So, I have to check this out. <laughs> I also love puzzle games, so that helps. Um, so yeah, let's give Crossnick Plus a look. Uh, I'll just take off the screen again, hang on. There we go. My laptop is on the floor way over there, so it's a bit of a stretch to adjust settings and stuff and change what's being displayed at the moment. Uh, not a big deal. Anyway, Crossnick. Or Cross... Cross... Crossnick Plus. Or... Whatever it's called. Made with Unity. Crossnick Plus contains background animations intensity and intensity and can be harmful to photosensitive players. Settings to reduce the intensity of these backgrounds can be found in the options menu. Okay, so you can change stuff to avoid photosensitivity problems, which is very good. I'm glad they set that up front, just to be very clear. Crossnick Plus, let's cross to the future. Copyright 2019, Future Memory LLC. Press A to start. Crosslink, FMOS V01, welcome to Sintera. Wait. I assume it's loading? Okay, it has, it has loaded. Uh, okay, we've got a bunch of different options here. Is there like an adventure mode or something? I don't know. Options. Okay, we've got music, sound effect, clear data, advanced. Background filter, still backgrounds. Okay, so you can change both of those to show photosensitivity problems. I think I might put the filter on, just to make it easier for viewers. Um, there we go. Alright, so, where do I go first? Tutorial, I guess? I don't know anything about this game. How to play. Basics, yeah. I don't know how to play this game at all, so let's learn the basic information. I like that menu design. It kind of feels Sakurai-esque, almost. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Kirby Air Ride, and that's always a good thing. Okay, so how do I play this? Welcome to Crossnick. Wow, it feels good to say that. You're starting things out with this basic tutorial. I take it that you're new to the neighborhood. I am. In that case, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Monatan, the Crossnick genius. Brilliant, magnanimous, and beloved by all. Pleased to meet ya. Now, onto the matter at hand. Crossnick 101. A little note before we start. For this tutorial, we're using Endless Mode, the most basic main mode of Crossnick Plus. You can figure out Endless Mode, you can learn the other modes on your own. No sweat. With that said, we'll begin with the most basic of basics. See all these cute little tiles on the screen? Crossnick is about taking these tiles and lining them up into crosses. Being the authority that I am, I can guess your first question with 99% accuracy. What the heck is a cross? <laughs> well, I could tell you, or I could show you. But first, you gotta know how to move tiles. You can move them any which way you'd like. If you move them off the edge of the playing field, they'll wrap right back around. You can move these tiles around with the... with these things on this handy graphic. Okay, so I can use a D-pad or the directional buttons? I don't actually have a D-pad, but I assume it just means that. Like, if you're using like a pro controller, it would have a D-pad. Take a long look. Longer. You good? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you just move the selector around, you press A, and then you push the direction you want to move. Yeah. Wonderful. Now that you know the basic controls, here's what I want you to do. 
fill the flashing area of the screen with tiles of the same colour. Something cool will happen, I promise. Okay. Uh, okay, we've mostly got blues, so let's... All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be enough. Kabloom, kablooey, and so forth. A perfect intersection between a column and a row of the same color. Such elegance, such grace, such ideal form. <laughs> the tiles were so elated, they up and vanished. And that, my precious little newbie, is a cross. Simple, right? When you make a cross, a few things happen. First, you might have noticed this time bar on the right. For the purposes of this tutorial, we've frozen it in place. But during a game, it's always ticking down. And when it turns empty, bzzzt, game over. However, in endless mode, when you make a cross, the time bar will refill back to the tippity top, meaning that you can keep playing, well, endlessly. Making a cross will also fill this level bar on the left. When you fill it to the top, you'll level up and the little level number will increase. The higher your level, the faster the time bar drains, but the more points you earn per cross. A puzzle game with intricately balanced risk and reward, now that's the good stuff. Don't you agree? God, she's cute. Wait, she didn't say any pronouns. They? Hmm. Finally, you'll earn points each time you clear a cross, and you can see them up here. Cool. Now that you've got the basics down, try making another cross. Put it anywhere you'd like this time. Uh. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so let's make another cross. Uh, zoom. So you have to cross the entire screen. That's kind of a lot. I mean, there's only a few colors to work with, but it's still quite a bit of effort, you know? Hmm. Oops, didn't mean to do that one. Well done, you're getting the hang of the skin pretty dang quick. A bit too quick if you ask me, so here's a curveball for you. See that tile with the lock icon? This is what's called a locked tile. Shocker, I know. <laughs> but don't take this little fella lightly. When you try to move him off the edge of the field, he won't budge. Just one of, one of them is no big deal, but dealing with a bunch of them at once can be a real pain. Fortunately, you can get rid of them just like any other tile, clear them in a cross with tiles of the same colour. Give it a try, make a cross with this locked tile somewhere in it, and send it packing. Okay, so it has to be a yellow cross, obviously. Uh... <laughs> this music's cute. I like it. There you go, one locked tile out of your hair. But don't get too comfy. As your nut level goes up, these little guys come hard and fast, and will make your life miserable if you don't remember to clean them up every once in a while. In fact, there's only one tile that's worse news than a locked tile, and you're looking at it right now. That tile with the X, that is a frozen tile, and it's a tough customer. You can't move frozen tiles at all. They lock down their entire row and column. Spooky, right? If you see one, don't freak out. Just clear it like you would any other tile. Try doing that now. Clear that frozen tile in a cross and give it the boot. This music is adorable. <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, forming the whole cross is kind of tricky. There we go. Well, look at you. You got rid of that frozen tile, no problem. Surely you'll be able to handle two of them, right? Like these two, right here. Now, at this point, your newbie brain might have stumbled onto a disturbing fact. If you have two frozen tiles at once, there are some scenarios where they can't be cleared via a normal cross due to the tiles they've locked in place. But worry not, you're in the presence of the Crossnick genius after all. I predicted this scenario long before this tutorial even started. Mwahahaha. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> anyway, there is another way to get rid of these tiles. Make a cross in the flashing area, just like earlier, and watch what happens. Trust me. Um, how am I gonna make a cross there? I can't. Uh, yeah, I can move that down like that. I'm gonna move across like that. Red all the way across there. Let's try to get some red into the. This is a tricky puzzle game. I like it. See that? Pretty cool, huh? What you just witnessed is called a type break. In short, if you make a cross, any locked or frozen tiles adjacent to that cross will turn into normal tiles again. Note that this is not the same as clearing them. Sure, they'll be turned back to normal, but you won't get any additional points for clearing them. Still, quite a useful tool for when you find yourself in a jam and need to get rid of multiple colours of locked and frozen tiles at once. I bet you're feeling a bit exhausted after all that, huh? You've been such a good student, so let's sweeten things up a bit. Check out that tile with a star on it. That's a bonus tile. Clear it in a cross or some honest for some honest to goodness bonus points. Try it out. Clear that bonus tile in a cross. There you have it, simple and to the point. One warning with bonus tiles though, you can type break them just like locked and frozen tiles. Imagine that, accidentally get rid of your bon get rid of your bonus tile without earning any bonus points. It's like dropping a fresh ice cream cone at on the ground. <laughs> I'm getting emotional at the mere thought. Oh, on a happier note, I'm pleased to report that you've completed the basic tutorial with flying colours. I'm proud of you, newbie. You're all ready to start playing. Of course, you can visit the advanced tutorial if you're eager to be graced by my crossnick knowledge once again. There's plenty more to learn, you know. Until then, get out there and play. Monotan, over and out. Okay, so I have a basic idea of how the game works now. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go for endless mode. I don't know where all the characters are, like, well, I want to meet some characters, but I don't know which parts of the game to go to. You have a lot of options. Mm. I guess 
I'll go to Endless and see what happens. Uh, let's say level. Okay, that can go up to 9. Yeah. Grid 6, so these are the default. default. Uh, color select, I can change these around. I guess they're okay the way they are. Touch control, I'm assuming I can turn on if I have the device handheld, so the touch screen will actually work. Uh, I don't know what the songs sound like, so I guess I'll leave it on the default. <laughs> Let's cross, eight boys at top. <sighs> loading, loading, loading. Ready. Let's cross. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of habitually going for like solid lines of stuff, but that doesn't actually do anything in this game. You full crosses. Uh... <laughs> very good at this. Um, granted, I just started playing, so I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I did go through the tutorial and I passed with flying colours, so I should be better at it than this. But I, I'm really struggling uh, to do anything, basically. Oh god. Oh no, that was terrible. <laughs> Online? Is that what it's doing? Do I have to go online? Or... I didn't tell it to do that. Um. Hmm. Are you going online? Is that what is happening? It's taking a while. I can tell it to skip that. Because, yeah, that's... Taking a very long time. No rank. Okay, uh, skip. Okay, let's 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 have a look at some of the other modes. Maybe I got some money. I got some money apparently. I don't know what, what to do with that. Um, that's cool. <sighs> the the um, TV is like really close to my face right now because of the setup I have to be in to record. So it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Chill out. That sounds like my kind of mode. I like to chill. <laughs> loading. Still loading. Oh, hello. Welcome to Gallery Indigo. Oh, didn't mean to shout. It's just spelled that way. This is your first visit, isn't it? And allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cal, and I'm the curator of this establishment. It's a pleasure. Don't worry, there's no entry fee. Please, come and enjoy the gallery. Uh, gallery. Welcome to Gallery Indigo. So I just look at, look at photos of stuff in here? Is that the idea? I'm a little confused. See you again. Did you enjoy the collection? I hope you're feeling refreshed. Oh, you're interested in making a donation? That's very thoughtful of you. I'm quite flattered. For accepting donations in increments of 100 credits. Does that sound reasonable? I guess so. Oh, I'm sorry, I appreciate the gesture. 
but the transaction was declined. Are you sure you have enough to donate? I have like five credits. So. I'm guessing I get more photos as I do that. In the in the gallery, because there's just the one. This load as it goes back to the menu is a bit long. I suppose in normal play that would be okay. It's just because I keep looking at different modes and stuff. Oh yeah, could I set reset the clock on the, on the switch? It didn't sync up with daylight savings. Huh. Uh, let's try... Versus? Input select. Oh, that's multiplayer. Okay. Um, I don't want to do multiplayer. Oh, hang on. Let's do this. There we go. Let's go back. Uh, time attack? I mean, I thought I just did time attack, kind of. Go, let's have a look. See what we get. Looks like there are three colors always, and you can customize what they are, so it should be okay for most types of color blindness. Uh, I don't know about complete color blindness, but that is a lot rarer than most kinds, so I think for the vast majority of people it should be okay. I don't know if there's a way to make them look different in terms of shape or something to compensate for uh, that sort of problem. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. in general. Oh yeah, those are all locked at home. Oh yeah, I can't move off the edge, that's right. Oh I'm really, really bad at this game. Is it gonna try to dial it up to the net again? I don't, I don't want it to do that. Maybe I need to just disable the Wi Fi or something. Okay, no, that, that, that's easier. Yeah, skip. There we go. Okay. I got 15 monies. I assume because I was slightly bad at that time. It's probably like one, like five monies for each cross you get or something. I think I got three that time. Oh. 
I haven't tried using the analog in gameplay actually. I, I assume it works, but there's not much reason to because this game is like digital control. Kind of like Pio Puyo Tetris where you can use the analog if you want to, but it just makes more sense not to. Uh, loading. Let's cross. Aim for the top. Hey, welcome to Culture Camo. Stand out while you blend in. Or let me know if you have any questions. Hey, wait a sec. I've never seen your face in here, and I don't forget faces. So you're new, huh? I see, I see. I'm Vi. Pronouns are she, her, hers. This is my shop. I specialize in fashion that inspires brilliance. Instead of, you know, making you want to fall asleep or puke. Make yourself at home. You must have good taste if you found this place on your own, so I'm sure we'll get along wonderfully. Oh, and uh, there are other odds and ends for sale too, I guess. Take a look around. I'm not going anywhere. Bye, I love you. I'm sure you know all about me, right? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but this is the part where I disappoint you. <laughs> All my secrets to just anyone, my mysterious charm will be ruined. It's a business decision, you know? Let's just focus on clothes for now. Hmm? Based on your current look, I think it ought to be a priority. I love you. <laughs> All I say, I can buy different outfits. Music tracks. I can't really afford any of this stuff yet, because my wallet's so empty. Well, find anything you like? That was rhetorical, of course you did. Oh, She's so cute. I love you, Vi. Later! She's basically like... a cross between Rarity and Rainbow Dash. And she's so freaking cute. <laughs> Also, she's trans, like both of them, obviously. What's that do? Nothing yet. Um, what am I gonna access? Uh, I went to chill out already. Uh, versus is multiplayer. I guess I go back to Endless? Let's see if I can do it better this time. Level 1, grid. Oh, I can make the grid bigger. Well, 6 is gonna be easier. I'm gonna leave it that way. Okay, you can change these colors around. Uh... Hang on, can I get like a pink? Yes, there's a pink. Um, it's a little fiddly to pick the colors you want because it just cycles when you press the button. Um... Ah, go back. Go back, pink. Yeah, Crossing said turns right. I mean, it, it did. Like, we, we just met Vi and she told us her pronouns. And I love her. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is it is ridiculous how happy that one little scene made me. You would not believe. Ready. What a sweetie. I'm still no good at this. Like, I'm, I'm really no really good at this game. It's really hard. <laughs> Which I mean, I just don't know what I'm doing yet, basically. Up. I haven't done anything good yet. I'm trying. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Evidently I need to practice some more. Like I know what to do, but I don't know how to do it like with any amount of speed whatsoever. 
Why are you bothering to go to the net when you know I didn't get anything? Silly. Yeah, we try. Okay, so yeah, I really, really like this game's presentation and especially its cast. Babies. I'm in love. Um in terms of actual gameplay, it's hard. Like it's 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 a difficult game in terms of approachability, I think. Um I got cross. One. <laughs> uh, let's start. Beats having zero crosses, which is what I had before. Now, I have a lot of greys, maybe I can use that. Shame I can't get actual white, but, you know, close enough, I suppose. I'm sure you all know what I mean. <laughs> games like this. This is very much a Puyo stylish sort of puzzle game. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the game's presentation. It doesn't look exactly like Puyo Puyo, like which I always consider a game with an amazing presentation. Obviously completely different in design and style, but it's still a really good style, so that's okay. <laughs> um. uh, the controls are easy and responsive. You can use the analog if you want to, but I wouldn't, just because of the way the game works. Yeah, the controls are very easy to understand, very responsive, nice and quick. Uh, precise, being able to do what you want to do is very easy. Uh, although, you know, actually doing the puzzles is not easy. It's, it's a hard game. <laughs> Mostly because I'm not good at it. But I'll build some skill in time, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, that was better. Like, I'm getting a little bit good at it. Definitely gonna take some practice. Um, how am I doing? 34 minutes. I think I'm probably good to call out a video. Like, you've seen how the game works. I went through the tutorial, voiced it, voiced a couple of the other characters. Uh, you can see that they're extremely charming. Uh, and, like, there's a lot of different modes and stuff on offer here, so there's a lot of, lot to be had. Um, it's a hard game. Uh, the rules are very simple, which is good. I imagine I if I go through the advanced tutorial, I'll get better at it, so I will do that. Um, probably off camera, though. Um, 
But yeah, what I'm seeing so far is really cool. Uh, and there's obviously a bunch of stuff to unlock that I don't really know what it does, but, you know, it's, it's cool to unlock stuff. I'm not sure why you can buy clothes, because as far as I can tell, you're not, you're not like a visible character in the game at all. So I don't know why you'd want to buy clothes, but maybe I'm just misunderstanding something. Uh, I'll have a quick look at the options, just make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, okay, that's how volume works. I, these menus are a little fiddly. I'm not a huge fan of that way of designing it. So you have to like cycle through the options instead of just get what you want. Um, it's not a huge problem, but it is a little annoying. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm liking the look of this game, and I'm you know excited to play more of it. And I think it looks pretty great. And I love Vi at the shop, she's a cutie pie, and I think she's adorable and precious, and my friend. And I love her. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's just pretty much all I have to say about the game, I guess. I'm just gonna keep, you know, playing off camera and stuff, but that's about it for this video. Um, I imagine in versus mode it'd just be basically like Puyo Puyo, you just got two boards side by side. Uh, I might as well actually just start it up to have a quick look. I mean, I've got two Joy-Cons, I may as well. Uh, I've got more than two Joy-Cons, but you know, I can do it with two. Just so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is where the characters come in by the looks of things. Uh, we got Hotwire. Are those characters' names? No. No, that no, that's not the characters' names. That's Sky, Flurry, Montana, yeah, I know you. Geo, Ocho, Dr. Beam, Haze, and Rain. Okay. Looks like their abilities like affect stuff. <laughs> that's really vague. Um like each character has a special ability on sort of things. Item select. What do these do? Oh, okay, so you can pick one of these. Oh, no, you pick a few, okay. Okay, so the versus mode in this game is kind of in depth, but looks at things. You get four items and you get to pick the order you get them in, okay. Oh, you can do handicaps and you can adjust what colors each player has. Uh, I think this menu is a little more fiddly than, say, the Puyo Puyo Tetris menu for handling these kind of settings, but it's alright. I, I wouldn't say it's terrible. <laughs> and presumably, yeah, it's just like two boards and I guess you send garbage at each other or something. Maybe you're just competing for the highest score. Let's cross. Okay, so we yeah, there's two boards. Uh, let me see what happens when I actually get across. Managed to get across. God, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I really need to work on it. Uh... Okay, it, it like shuts down the other person's time by the way. Maybe I'm not sure. Oh no, it fills up the X bar at the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you're trying to beat them by having the time run out. Yeah, that makes sense. And in the second round? Okay. Obviously, yeah, I like, can't play with two boards at once like this. I'm not even very good at playing it with one board, but you get the idea. Definitely playing with a single Joy-Con isn't ideal. Just like for your, for your Tetris, it doesn't work as well because the game controls are so very digitally uh, designed. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it just feels like the EX bar at the bottom when you get a bit across. I think that means you get like a power up on the pill. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Player. Okay. 
All right, so yeah, that, that's uh, Cross Snake. Oh, I got some money for doing that. <laughs> uh, I guess I looked at all the modes. Um, I kind of wish you got to pick a character all the time rather than just in versus mode because uh, PvE Tetris does that and it's super cute. And as cute as this game is, it's very cute. Oh, especially the shop because Vi is a sweetie pie and I love her. Um, it's it's not quite as cute as Puyo Puyo Tetris because it doesn't have little catchphrases as you do things and that kind of stuff, which are very appealing parts of that particular game. Um, which is a shame. I'd like to see that in this game as well, but it's just not a feature. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna probably go through the tutorial and stuff later and you know learn how to play this properly because I'm really excited um, and I'm really bad at it. So it would be good if I were better at it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's Crossnick Plus, or Crossnick, anyway, I don't know if the plus is actually... I don't know if you need to pronounce it or not. Sometimes they did, and sometimes they didn't during the tutorial. It's kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and bye!